everybody this is gonna be a little earl campbell autographed uh collection card collection thing recap like i said i made one of these for warren moon campbell a long time ago it's been quite a bit updated since then so i'm just trying to give you a little overview of what i have with me now so yeah again since you guys seen this on the warren moon one but i framed this one so this is Earl Campbell. I do have 43 Earl Campbells. And I do have another one coming in the mail, but I'll kind of talk about it when I get to those cards. But again, some of my favorite cards right here from Impeccable, which you'll see Impeccable. But uh, yeah, I just got this one in the mail today. This one is 2011 Triple Threads with a game used two-color jersey. So this won't be on another video, but it's at a 75. It's kind of beat up. I had like this crease down here, but I got it for real cheap. It was like 35 bucks or something like that. But pretty card. Uh, again, I might as well show this one. This is the one you guys already seen too, because it does have Warren Moon on it as well. This tandem card from uh, 2018 Panini. I've only seen like three of these ever. One I bought, the other two have been on eBay. So... I don't know how many there are. I don't know what the, I can't imagine they made too many of them because you don't find them very often. There's like four different variations, but one of my favorite cards. Uh, a lot of these are going to be matches for like the Warren Moon. Like I have the Warren Moon in this set. This isn't numbered, but it's just, uh, yeah, 2015 Donruss Signature Series. But I do have the Warren Moon also. I have the Warren Moon of this. It's immaculate. At a 25 on card. I love on card. I love game you stuff. Of course, I know we were going to get stickers here and there. I completely get that. You're going to get player war and stuff, but uh, just sharp cards. Oh, I'd like to get a frame thing for these two cards too. Another one that I have a match with the Warren Moon, the award winners, 1979 NFL MVP on card, the blue ink, blue border. I like the black and white photo, but so yeah. I, it's not a complete match because I think I have the one out of 49 for the moon, but see this one's player worn. This is from I think 19 playbook, 18 playbook. Yeah, got that. I, if I do have to get a sticker, I really do prefer that they are on the sticker all the way. Uh, on card, I love these cards. I have the worn. I actually have two of these. There's another one in the stack somewhere, but I don't know where it is. So you'll see that the autograph will be slight. I think there's like a smudge or little dragging of the ink pen that's a, just a pretty basic card but out of 49 supposedly there's versions where he signed both the front and back and he didn't know where to sign but guys are asking like crazy buku money for this is the beauty uh out of 25 immaculate that is game use so that's a huge huge chunk of a jersey there so yeah, 8 of 25 from 17, Immaculate, game-worn material. Pretty card. Love that card. Here's just another variation of that playbook. This is that 25. It's like the horizontal version or whatever. Well, this is 16 playbook, but I'll tell you what, that card does look eerily close to... So these are two years apart, but literally, I mean, same kind of basic design for the most part, but... Yeah, that's player worn as well. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that one's game worn. Oh, can't remember. But that's one of those cases where the sticker doesn't look too awfully bad. It's just a pretty, pretty photo. Uh, at uh, 49, iconic ink. These are always like the cheaper autographs, like then your immaculates and stuff like that. That's 17, absolute football. I think I might have two of those. I can't remember. Here's the other one. This one has like the drag ink, I guess, on there. But it's just another one out of 49. So I got two of them out of 49. Wherever I just put that last one. Yeah. So there you go. I think when I bought one, I didn't even realize I had it yet. And then I got these three. This one was pulled by uh, Packer Cards 87. Five out of five. He gave me a hell. I asked him what he wanted. He said this. And I think I actually think I might have gave him a little bit more just because I was like, yeah, that's too cheap. But it's five out of five. 
Earl Campbell from Legacy of 2019 that I ended up buying one off of uh, eBay. These aren't the numbered ones. And then I think, again, I thought I didn't have a... I thought I had a different numbered one, and I didn't. But, uh, yeah, so I got two of those, plus the five out of five. So, appreciate that. He knows that. But on card, I love this card, too. This is out of, I think, 25 somewhere. No, that's out of 10. Just a pretty card. Blue, blue ink. Can't beat it. On card. Love it. Uh, just like it. Like it, like it, like it. Pretty sure this is game used, too. This is a national threat. This is an older one, but colossal out of 25. Uh, wish there was some color in here, but again, probably for the price that I bought, bought it for. 2013. For the price that I bought it, I liked it. And it's game used, on card. That's like a win, 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 win. But, yeah. And this one just, you've probably seen this on a mail day not too long ago. I just got this like last week, but it's like the greatest players or something. This fat sticker, Earl Campbell, Upper Deck, Century Legends. It's not numbered, but still just a cool thing. Stickers like that fat though, I mean, it's like, it's a big fat one. I just like that card. Really like 30, 33 top, 33 of the top 50 players. That's what it says. Another beautiful chunk of patch. That's game worn on card 25. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this gold ink stuff, but again, 2015 black gold. That is game worn material. But again, on card, game worn. Can't beat it. Uh, I can't, I don't think eh, this one might be game worn too. Out of 10, it's National Treasures. And that is game worn. If you can't see a theme here. That's 2014 National Treasures. But yeah, it is a sticker, but again, nice little game more. I forget where I got this card. Somebody off of YouTube. If I could sit there and go back and think about it, or look back, I would know. So here's the one out of 20. This is this year certified, the Mirror Signatures 2021. I don't know why I'm not trying to get the rainbow. I'm not expecting the 101 or anything, but this is the blue... These are, they're just cheap for, and I thought I didn't know I had a blue and then I thought I didn't have the blue and I bought another one. So I got the 17, 16 and 17 out of 20. And then I got the purple out of 10, 10 out of 10. It was on sticker. God, I got that cheap. I think I got that cheaper than I did one of these, but the purple, uh, the white at a 50, I think that's like your base version. And then at a 35 and I just won the gold out of 15 today one of that. i was the only person that bid on it i think i paid literally an average of 30 35 dollars for each one of these including that gold i just won so that'll be my what four fifth different color i thought i had another one but apparently i don't oh yep there she is she's hidden she's out of order there's the pink out of 40 so yeah, pink out of 40. So I'll have six different variations once that gold comes in. I mean, I think there's like nine or 10, including the 101. So out of 25, just retro series. I think I won this for like 20, 25 bucks. And again, if you're patient enough, you can pick up these type of guys, you know, because we all know Hall of Famers kind of really don't get the love that they do. But Earl Campbell and Warren Moon sign a lot of stuff. If you're just patient enough like I am, uh, you can win some decent ones at good prices. Just got this card probably within the last month. I like this. Just I like the photo. I like the whole picture instead of like a border. Earl Campbell. NFL Legends. That's at a... What is that? Out of something like 2,000 upper deck or something. Just crazy. I have the Jim Brown of this card, I think, at one point in time. And on card at 25, another National Treasures uh, Peerless Signatures. Again, just probably paid around, like these type of cards, you probably pay around 45 ish dollars probably. If you just wait enough for like an auction or a guy with a reasonable buy it now or best offer type deal. But the patch autos is where the money comes. It's weird, this one I got, I don't know, I think for like $15. It's player-worn at uh, 25 
and the guy sold it to me for fifteen dollars just so like we could I guess he said something about trusting him in the long run because I paid like friends and family. I don't even know what it was. So yeah, this, I'm giving you a deal now, and I never talked to that guy again. I, I mean, I think he just disappeared, but it's just kind of funny. But got it for like fifteen bucks at twenty five. Uh, I think yeah, here's the other one out of seventy five. Why that ain't? I was doing something where I didn't have these together, but so I have two of these out of seventy five. Another one's like towards the bottom down here, so I'm not going to look for it. I just like the looks of these cards <clears throat> uh, out of forty nine. The Great American Signatures from Rookies and Stars. I think that's a great set, uh, depending on who you get. Kind of like, you have like the red, white, and blue vibe, you know, with the Oilers' co old colors. So, I don't know, just pretty cool. Those would be sweet on card, but the uh, like the chromium ones, I think they have, are really badass looking. But out of 10, prefer penmanship. You don't see these pop up a lot. I'm not a huge die cut fan, but it was on card, and I think I won this for like around 30 bucks. I could go back on eBay for... 90% of these, and I don't pay a lot of money for these. Some I have, I mean, but... Uh, NFL, the Legendary Contenders, the Optic. Looks on card, but it is a sticker. It's still sweet. Uh, at 25. I think I had a chance to buy that at 10 off somebody, but I kind of passed. For, like, what I... The price... Yeah, it's just a shiny card bold signature on the sticker got a couple of these i think these are a couple of my earlier ones that i bought both out of 34 4 and 27 out of 24 but again pretty cards put some light on them and they're pretty all these scuffs are like on these little team bags that you see but the perfect fit ink ones but and that one kind of like that signature one legendary contenders Again, it's at a 49. Cool little rainbow effect on the foil. But blue ink, all on sticker. We're almost done, don't worry. Uh, to signature marks at a Dunruss. Again, probably one of my earlier ones I ever bought. Which I don't go and grab like the nicest ones I can find. One, because of the price. Two, just because. And I don't know, it's almost became an addiction. I don't know why I need... 40 plus Earl Campbell signatures because I do have a jersey, a mini helmet, and a full size helmet of Earl Campbell too. So, so I don't know why I keep getting the cards. I get this just keeps me somewhat occupied. But out of 10, I think this is game used too. Legendary on card, the blue ink, the blue all over the place. Oh, that, that one's player worn. Yeah. I think I got that one. Oh, God, maybe I get this one off somewhere off YouTube too. Yeah, one of the earlier, probably one, I think one of the first five I've ever bought. I just love this card, unparalleled. I wasn't a big fan of like the base stuff, but like the blue alone with this card is just so damn pretty. Blue ink. Uh, it's out of 49 too, so just a very eye-popping type card. I just like the blue with the blue jersey. And then the blue ink, but. Yeah, that was one of the first probably five. I think I tried to buy another one one time, but and then my three, two, at least my favorite Earl Campbell by itself coming up, and then I got these off a of Facebook deal. And like, if you would go to eBay, if I would list these on eBay now, or like, like people are pricing them, like people are putting like five ninety nine or best offer, and like I know people say these aren't true but one of ones because it's the honors, but a guy had both of these. Uh, at the same time, obviously just a blue foil and a gold foil. And they do have these autos that are kind of like by themselves, but, uh, or actually stamped. I'm not a huge college guy either, but either way, like, I think I paid like 130 for both of these, 120. And I think that was the third most I ever paid for an Earl Campbell autograph for, per one. So yeah, so some guys out there kind of know what they got, and they're not going to wait for five years to see if they can get more. But And they probably could have somewhere. Somebody would have bought them, but I did not. But between these and then that Warren Moon Earl Campbell duel, I think that's what I paid for the most. And then this card I got off Facebook fairly early on too. And this is game worn. And that actually is... Uh, 
just like leatherish. Oh, it's sweet, but it's actually stamped the 101 but on card game use 101. Uh, I think this was like in the top 10 first autos I bought, and I paid like 120 for this card. And sounds crazy. Do I need a 101? Hell no, I don't. But I did see the five of five pop up, I think, two different times, like something out of the five. And I think it's like $500 or something like that. And I think I've tried to offer on them and I can't even, like it won't even go through. It's denied right away. But either way, I was early in my collecting days and this popped up on a Facebook group and he was like, yeah, He's like, I'll take that. I'm like, cool. Like, could I resell this? Probably for devil? Probably. Cause I'm sure there's somebody out there. But. So technically I have three Earl Campbell one ones those I won't even count, but it's just cooler as a killer. But that one's my one of my favorites. But yeah, that's all I got. That was 43 Earl Campbells. Like I said, the other um, mere signature one that I got coming in, that will be 44. But it will not make this video, obviously. I don't feel like waiting, but yeah, there's those two put together. And like the one out of 49 is not very much different than these. But yeah, that's all I got for this one. Just wanted to do a quick recap. Can't believe that was 16 minutes. I guess I talked about them a lot. But yeah, if you watch, thanks for watching. If not, oh well. Till next time, guys. See you later.